Check it out, guys. Dedicated to Angela Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson's wife. Shadow Man 2. Or Shadow Man Second Coming. New game is the teddy bear with one leg. Okay. Who knows? Maybe the next game is going to be Fatal Frame. Shadow Man, all you stupid little 64 nerds who had no games to buy. I need a new game! I'm done with Mario 64! Let's buy the Shadow Man! A great battle has raged down the centuries that threatens to destroy the worlds of the living and the dead. The Grigori, demons that have lived among us for the past 2,000 years, now plan for the return of their beloved leader, Asmodeus. One object holds the key to the power of the Ligori and the release of Asmodeus, an ancient book known as the Codex. The time for battle is now at hand, in the year 1976. Over there, Deacon. The Codex. Got it. What the? Game. Oh, my Jesus! The time has come, my little friends, to pay the price for your betrayal. Game! Nice try, little man. <laughs> but not nice enough. Come to me, you son of a bitch! Shit! So it ends, Thomas. And soon in the skies, the star will brightly shine. Oh, Lord! Is my shepherd. I shall not want. Oh! He leadeth me to lie down in green pastures. Your Lord has led you to this, Thomas Deacon. There are no green pastures here. Only death. I'll see you in hell. What's going on? Sorry, I wasn't. I was, what? Huh? How's this looking? How's it looking? For many thousands of years, the Shadow Men have protected the world of the living against threats crossing over from the spiritual plane known as Deadside. The place where everyone goes without exception when they die. Michael Lenoir is the current heir to the mysteries of this ancient lineage, bearer of the Mask of Shadows. When darkness falls, he becomes the walker between the worlds, immortal voodoo warrior, taker of souls, lord of Deadside, the Shadow Man. Side. No place like home. Just out of curiosity, what do you think the turning point was? Where games started being like crappy N64 games and started being, you know, like the games we know today. You know what I mean? Because this, this seems like a game that's stuck in the crappy N64 past. No, it's not GTA. Well, I mean... I'm talking about... Step on the skulls. Where games stop being like this. Metal Gear Solid was one. No, there's a lot of crappy games like this on the PS1 as well. I think Devil, the original Devil May Cry was a big, like... Turning point. And then GTA had like Metal Gear Solid and shit. 
Odd World and Soul Reaver and how those games didn't make I mean Odd World didn't make a mark at all in terms of influence maybe Soul Reaver but n even that there wasn't a lot of influence from a game I like Soul Reaver off that other game and get out of here I'm talking about influential games to deal that with. shifted game design out of the games are really awful era like like this shit like Devil May Cry said you know it doesn't have to be like this <laughs> no Metroid Prime neither not also not Metroid Prime I think God of War was a big one but that was just more of an evolution of Devil May Cry that's just can do is hit R2 to punch I think and sometimes I hold my hand up like a like that one wrestler before I punch Oh my god! Will Brad find a diamond in the rough tonight? Not anytime soon. This could just be early on in the game before I get my, like, Soul Reaver or something, right? I get something besides punching. I never played the original Shadow Man, so I don't know. Is this what type of game is this, anyways? I, I don't even know. No. No. Am I trying to get the rest of my body back or something? Wait a minute. This game seems promising.
are these two giant fucking rings on the side? No! <laughs> no! Please tell me this is not the beginning of the fucking stage. I was just starting to like it. Oh my god. Strafing is left and right on the right analog stick. Well, up and down on the right analog stick is look up and down. And like left and right on the stick is turn left and right like a tank. Why? God, why? Oh God. Shadow man. Oh, the Got bear. It. I got the bear. Hmm? But see, it's interesting to go back to these old games and see how awful controls used to be.